You can what not. What did you say? Well, like, wait, hold on, hold on, like, hold on. Like, hold listen, on. I think I can kill a zombie with one punch. Like, all no, right. you said no, no. No, you said knock I can, out. Okay. I can knock a zombie it, out. It's David Lopez, right? No, here. No, listen. I think. Oh, you can't. Uh, you can't, so fuck you. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're not Hispanic. You're 100%. Canceled. I think I can kill a zombie with one punch. Like, all there, there's nothing protecting them. <laughs> I'm fucking right there and I'm out. I don't care. Y'all heard it here. I'm saying I can survive. Y'all heard it here first. I can survive. If I'll zombie in the River Valley, David Lopez got it. There's a zombie over there. Henry's over there. Henry. Henry's on the camera, bro. All right. So first off, we would like to thank our sponsors. Well, mine and wait, Parker. Wait, wait. What's your name? Oh, my name is Daniel. My Daniel. Name. That's Daniel. My name's Diddy. I'm Parker. Diddy. Diddy. I'm P. Diddy. <laughs> your name? <laughs> Skeets. Tyler Skeeters. So then Henry running the camera. Henry, good job, buddy. Good job, First Henry. off, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Blaze and Dino. You guys are awesome. And Free then, Sword Fuel, Hannah Landau, uh, uh, Jim Philpot at Philpot's Auto Care, Noah Rest on a Fitness Factory, Fitness Factory. Um, ABC Printing, um, my mom and dad at Boondocks, uh, Jeff and Velvet at Total Rehabilitation. And that's it. Show him a picture of your shirt. He's oh, also yeah. selling shirts. You can contact him on Just Facebook. Just got some new shirts in. Woo! If y'all need some, hit me up for sizes. I got a lot of new sizes coming in. So They're really good quality. I would yep. highly recommend it. Yep. For sure. All right. So first off, we're going to talk about uh, Parker just had his pro debut against uh, Wesley Drain. Wesley Drain. Uh, so let's talk about that. Uh, so yeah, uh, it was a first round submission, um, uh, head and arm, which is something that I've gotten a lot in my amateur career. Uh, it's just something that I always see a lot and it's kind of weird cause I hardly ever get in in the gym, but, um, it just seems to pop up in the fights a lot. I just see it a lot. And, uh, I feel like, uh, where it started off was, uh, it was standing and I was trying to hit my big shots too much. And, I think if I'd have maybe threw a little bit more, I could have found the spot, but I rushed it, and it was a good pro debut, but a lot to work on, and I'm definitely gonna go back to the drawing boards and get better for sure. 100% finish rate, though, for him mm -hmm. at the moment. He's undefeated, I'm gonna let you know. As a pro. Um, <laughs> yep. All right, so second, um, we also had another debut here. Mr. Tyler Skeets had his kickboxing debut um, against, uh, what, what was your opponent's name? Horowitz. Horowitz. Who, oh, crazy. Horowitz was his amateur debut in <laughs> MMA. So as you can see, we all kind of like intertwine and kind of oh, gross. Fine. So go ahead and tell us about your kickboxing fight. Uh, I hate that Arkansas amateurs have to wear headgear and chin guards because I think I would knock him out. I mean, He's super tough at fly. Yeah, the guy is oh, just yeah. a tank of He's a man. A, I mean, I could have done a little more. Like, I was definitely not going the volume that I would have liked to and like the Parker was kind of, Parker was in my corner so he was calling for a lot more than I was doing uh, I will say this though the sharpest I've ever seen him was that first in that second round like dude looked slick he looked sharp 170 pounders out there maybe even 155ers if he gets on his shit <laughs> but <laughs> but, but, but listen y'all better watch out cause Skeeters are coming. I'll cut off a foot and I'll make 55. I got it. Just cut that here. Yeah, I'll shave my head. <laughs> I, look, I look like DC for that. But yeah, it was good. It was fun. It was really hot in there. No. So hot. Like, turns there was out, no AC. Turns out I had bronchitis and shit. Like, that, so it was extra fun. But Did we talk about the whole card, too, though? Our card? Because there's a lot of people that fought on yeah. our card. We should talk about that. I don't even remember Other than just my fight. They all kind of rolled it together. It was Zach, Jet, uh, Zach and Mike. Act, uh, Zach looked great. Keanu. Keanu. I mean, okay, so on Keanu's, Keanu, it was Keanu literally Keanu. just like a brain fart. Like he ran in, he got grabbed up with a guillotine, and he just pulled back. Like he didn't try to frame off the hips. He didn't try to get this. He didn't do anything. And he know, like, I put him in a guillotine like the week after. And he did the right shit to get out of it. I mean, I... You know, it was more difficult and stuff because, like, we were playing just jujitsu, but like, he did the things that in that and fight, he would have got out. Yeah. And so it's like, I don't think it was a lack of skill or knowledge. It was just a just lapse. I don't think Keanu's done. I think no. he's still got yeah, okay. still got fight him. I mean, he's still kind of. Yeah, and he's, dude. I I, I can't remember. I was I was sparring with him one time, and I was like, bro, I I know I was watching him spar Jeff that time. We started catching those body kicks and stuff. Like, yeah. you saw him start landing a few things mm -hmm. and going hard. 
And I was really like, I really undersell Keanu, but just because he's so much smaller than me, because I don't get to go with him, I don't get to really see what he can do with somebody his size. And he can, he can get you. Uh, baby, baby, Austin Foster, oh, yeah. Austin oh, my God. fight of the night, oh, 100 bucks. Dude, oh, is a monster. monster. He dropped his uh, opponent. I think it was in the second round with a spinning back kick. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. But then he just kept button tapping and, yeah. and kept throwing it. I think he, <laughs> he got so tired throwing that spinning back kick over and over and, and over. And, uh, and over. We had, oh, dude, Mike. Mike. Mike is so good. Mike is a problem. Yeah. For, I don't oh, even know yeah. what he weighs, but y'all little gremlins down there. Y'all in I trouble. I think he fights at 25. I think that's it. All flyweight, you are in trouble. Bro, uh, just imagine Schmeagle oh, from Lord of the Rings just getting a hold of you. Like, it's <laughs> over, bro. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's fighting like you took the ring. Like, yeah. Yeah, or his he, light bulb. He won the fight with the triangle, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. He won, he won on the triangle, and that dude's a pure striker. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, he has a blue belt in jiu-jitsu. He, he's working on it. I swear it's like playing sure. a video game whenever I corner him. Minus his fight in Muskogee, but he didn't train at all for that long story. Dude, even yeah, grappling, we didn't, he even, even, even grappling's like that. Like when we he did that grappling match, like literally he did his own thing for a second, and then he got to the point where he's like, mm-hmm. "Okay, get up this guy's guard," and then yeah, you just see his ear kind of turn towards you, and he just yeah, starts feeding weird. him information. And he just does it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He does. Zach, no, he's so. Zach, if you say everything. jab, like the dude, he's so good. Everything. Back, dude, he's right? a sponge. Oh yeah. Straight up. We had Zach fighting too. With this, uh, was it pro? No. It's, yeah. The second pro. It was fight. Second, second pro fight. Second pro fight. Uh, Zach's out two and up. Yeah. Just took the guy down. Hit him a few times and then bang, ended up. Bang. I think Rune got on top. Right? No, no, it wasn't Rune. He, he got he got a uh, both hooks in, flattened him out, and just started gorilla mm-hmm. punching yeah. him like. This. Okay. Oh, it was Jet. It was Rune naked. Yeah, Jet. That's right. Yeah. Talk about Jet in here too. And then, uh, so that was Zach's fight, and then Jet, same thing, very similar to Zach's, took the guy down really quick, beat him up a little bit, only instead of getting the finish with strikes, he ended up getting a rear naked. I will say this, Jet's entrances are so freaking good. And fast. Dude, they're Super so lightning good. Quick. Like, lightning I, I want to understand, like, because his punches to his shot is, it's so hard to navigate when he's shooting. Like, I, whenever I spar with him, he can always get to my hips, no matter what. Like, that little dude can get to my hips. He can't take me down, but that little dude can get to my hips. <laughs> oh, he was saying he could take me down the other day. Yeah, I, I seen it. It's on camera. He took me down. My bad for spitting on you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let me talk about the last. Oh, like, now wins one pro fight, you think? It's just, I don't know. It's too <laughs> good for everybody. Spit on people. You know? <laughs> Uh, the UFC? Now let's talk about the UFC fights this uh, past weekend. So I'm just going to start. Bangers. Because even the prelims are. Yeah, the like, prelims. The prelims. For the first fight. Dude, the early prelims were good. You yeah, got every Jessica every fight was good. I watched every fight. Jessica yeah. I retired after she got beat by Missy yeah. Barber. Yeah. Um, Uriah Hall got just grinded out by Audrey. Which um, I think that Andre dude, didn't that dude tap out Drop in this last fight? I, th- I think he did. I think I've seen that. Yeah. And then Brad Tavares lost. That's, well, had, that was surprising because I had Brad winning that. Fight. Brad Brad was like at the first round he was taking uh, Duplessis down and controlling him and ground and pounding him and he was he had a great game plan. I think he just blew out his gas tank with wrestling. Like that, that that's one thing in wrestling. Like you got to have a big gas tank if you're gonna wrestle. A big gas tank. And uh, Connor 2.0. Yeah, uh, Ian Garrett beats Gabe Green. I like Ian Garrett. I, I don't know, like man. That's just I like him. I like him. How do you beat him? Uh, it was just a decision on people's. Yeah. He's. And I, I think it's cool that he kind of takes that Connor two point I, I don't. I, I would never do that because that's not me at all. But I think it's pretty cool how he. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I'm just being honest, bro. I'm just being real. And then uh, uh, Cowboy retired. Connor two point bro. So Cowboy's my favorite 21. fighter of all time. And I was at work, and I like get the stream going. And right as I get the stream going, Jim Miller grabs the gilly, and I'm like, I realize who it is, and I'm like, no! And then I see him, like, that, he's, he's yeah. in tight, and he taps, and then I had to do something at work, and I'm like running around, and the next day I look back, and he's laying his hat down, and I was just, it's just heartbreaking. So it was, it was a, for sure, a future Hall of Famer. Hey, oh, yeah. but he's going to be in movies now, and he's oh, yeah. a superstar. Hey, he even said, like, he said that he wants to, like, go to Thailand still and train, and he's like, yeah, I'll probably pick up a few high fights over there and stuff. Like, oh, that'd be pretty cool. He's yeah. not, he's done with MMA. He told Dana way back that, like, UFC's ready to retire time and stuff, but, like, y'all forget, like, people forget that he was, you know, okay. kickboxing. He had a bunch cool. of kickboxing fights. Yeah. So he's, he's t- he, we might still get to see him fight and, like, in a sport where he's probably better suited. Fight glory. Um, um, 
Jalen Turner versus Brad Riddell. Jalen Turner is a monster. He for is. Sure. At uh, lightweight, he is a monster. That's that's what it was, right? Yeah. yeah. Dude, he's a beast. Since he had mounted, he wasn't it? He's he's so big for lightweights. He's a big dude. We got Sean O'Malley, Pedro Munoz. Mu- 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 oh my lord. That one I did not watch. I, I was watching that fight and Sean O'Malley was looking sharp. Really? Not gonna lie, he was looking sharp. He was. Like how, how good do you think he is in that division? Like, if you had to rank him right now, like, if he fought, if everybody fought everybody in the top 10, where do you think he He still has improvements, you know what I'm getting around. Yeah, where would you put him? Top 10? Top. Top 10. Easy top 10. You think he beat, uh, Henry? Cejudo? Oh, no, 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 no. Wrestle brother, wrestle brother. I think, uh... This guy smashed that guy, brother. Cejudo finished This guy smashed that guy, Did you hear, uh, like, Cejudo was in the back talking to Volk? I seen that, I seen that, yeah. I would love that. That would like I would love that. That'd be a problem for Cejudo. I just, I mean, not because he's not, he's been training still. I would love he that. He hasn't fought. That'd be an awesome. Fight. And Volk's been freaking very active. active. Very active. active. He's not good. He looks like max. Uh, we got Robbie Lawler, Brian Barbarino. So Holy first crap. round, dude. Robbie Lawler looked as good as I've seen him in a while. Ever. Bro, yeah. he looked phenomenal. Yeah, he looked so good. And then Brian said it best. Like, dude's such a good wrestler, but like. In mixed martial arts, you have to mix it up at one point, just to, just to, I don't know, make them think about something. Make I mean, them, like, not to jump ahead too far, but the main event, like when Canyon showed doing that, he saw all those success. Like that's exactly what Lawler would have done. Yeah. Yeah, I think he finishes Barberini in the second round. Yeah, because he had him hurt. Because what if he would have took him down, get some good ground and pound, he came up and he catches him. Dude, if he just touched his leg, yeah. If he just put a hand on his leg, Barberino mm-hmm. wouldn't have had to drop his hands. But that Barberino dude is a gangster. You see and he, he the, fought through it, and he threw so many punches. Yeah. Where he went overall. He, overall. he yeah. just kept. He, he just kept popping that jab. Kept popping that jab. Kept popping that jab. And he just sounds like a good old boy. He's just. So, he's like, y'all know what it is. Like, you know what we're here to do. <laughs> <laughs> Get them throw hands. Uh, man, we had a uh, Strickland and out. Oh my lord. Hey Strickland, I don't know, man. I don't know. I haven't really watched him on a like on live. I've watched his fights afterwards. He didn't look scared, but he looked like the, like a guy that went in that fight thinking too much about getting knocked out. Yeah. He went in there and he was just kind of like and I, usually when he's fighting, he's throwing and he's like getting himself hyped and he's like kind of getting that Joker almost persona. He wasn't talking no shit. He wasn't talking right. no shit. He wasn't even trying to like. I mean, shoot, I, he touched gloves. That surprised me. Yeah. Does he not normally? I don't know. But the way he was like just acting before the fight, talking to Izzy and stuff like that, I was like, bro, he's going to, you know, I think he's going to come out like a wild man. Mm. I did not see it going his way at all. No. Yeah. It's just, he's just he just tries to strike too much. And he tried to when you try to strike with a world champion kickboxer, what do you think is going to happen? Yeah, that guy was a world champion in two different weight classes. Mm-hmm. Light heavyweight yeah, and glory. Like yeah. the highest level possible. Yeah. And then uh, Bulk and Holloway. Bulk and Holloway was I didn't see, a I didn't see masterpiece. Was it? I mean, Volkanovski looked as good as that. I've never seen Volkanovski look better. 100%. I mean, he looked as good as he's ever looked. And he was just everything he was doing. All his interests were working. And Joe and them said it the best on the on the broadcast. They said at one point, like, Volk couldn't have a performance like this without an opponent like Max. Yeah, mm-hmm. straight up. Who is so good, yeah. so durable. Pushed him to be that. Like, he still never dropped it. Just like John Jones and uh, Daniel Cormier. Like, yeah. yeah. John Jones said that Daniel Cormier pushed him to be his absolute best. Like, that's just, sometimes that's the way the cookie crumbles. Meeple. You got your foe and you want to beat the shit out of it, bro. And then we got the main events. Izzy. I love it. I, I, I watched every I second of that fight. And... I, I didn't see any of these fights. Uh, I did. I did. I watched this one. This, this is the one I watched full. It was pretty good. Well, like for a fight. casual, you wouldn't, you wouldn't like it. But for like a fighter, very That's, good technique. Yeah, it's especially sharp. Especially somebody like Parker who like is in that weight class. Like, um, just... Something that a fight like that is something like that's always going to be out there. Yeah. You know, this you can learn so much from that fight on both sides. It was an awesome fight, though. It was. So I know Volkanowski is talking about going to 55. I if you could pick out anybody for him to go against, Connor. who would you want to see? Volkanowski versus Conor. Yeah. Yeah. You think so? As a fan, wise, I, 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 I want to see him versus Gaethje. Well, to be honest, I want to see that fight. Yeah, I don't. He'd fight for the title. I do. He'd fight for the title. He'd either fight for the title or he'd fight 
the number one contender. I don't yeah. want to see him go. It's either Oliver. it's either him or Charles or him and. Dude, Israel. that would be such an awesome fight, but I think Oliver is, is just too big of a man. Oh yeah, I'll fight him. Oliver. Yeah, I would take Oliver over. Oliver. I wonder how much weight he cuts. Who? Oliver. I wonder how much weight he cuts. A lot. I think so. I think he's big. A lot. I don't think he's big. I think he's big. I think he's big. Well, he's he did miss weight last one. He did. That man. He's impressive. He, I bet you he weighs, he's like 185. Oh, okay, yeah. I know for sure. I think so too. I figured we're talking about 55 years here. I'm simply yeah. thinking 70 yeah. other girls. Yeah, it's not bad. Well, I wonder what Volk cut sound to. Look what he walks around at. I bet you Volk walk, I bet you Volk walks around about the same weight as you. So like, how tall are you? How tall are you? 5'7? Yeah, you're 5'6. Yeah. Okay, Volk's like 5'6. No, I think Volk's short. I think he's like 5'6, bro. I'll give him 5'6. He's, he's hey, when you do that to Max Holloway, I'll give you 5'6, bro. I'll give you five six. No, I'm very six times. Bro, first round. You know, hey, you know that? Hey, Volkanovski, you can now update your Tinder profile. Hey, Holloway, <laughs> Holloway, Holloway is also a gangster because he got cut that first round oh, and he Lord. had blood in his eyes the entire fight and never stopped. Bro, the crown Hawaiian. Never bro, stopped. Was, it looked good. Like, it looked so cool from that angle. Like, it just looked like he was crying blood at the end of the fight. Yeah. Mm. He was just going at it. He didn't give. It, it was a fun fight to watch. I will say that. It was sad at the same time, though. Yeah. Like if you're if you're if you are like a big Max fan, and you respect Max. Like you know what that means. Oh, he's never done that fight. The fan no. bonus. Three oh, tonight. They released it. What is it? Is he won an Okay, here's the I have a question for you. I have a question for you. How much? Is who's, he won an who's, who's a better featherweight? Conor McGregor. Three or thirty. Or Volkanovski. Volkanovski. Who's a better featherweight? Conor McGregor or Volkanovski. Volk. Volkanovski's done more volume of work. I, I get that. Off, right? I, no, I understand that. But I'm just trying to think like both, both of them in their prime right there. Like that's just not what their body work is. Both basically fought the people Connor fought. At the end of their careers. Oh no, not Max though. He no, got I, Max I, in a prime Max. He had, uh, he had, Connor got lucky and fought a young Max. And dude, that would they both fight. I'd love to see that fight. Yeah, dude, me they too. They should redo that. No, one. they should Let's do that fight. to pay that. That Max, Max and Connor at 155. For 160 catch weight? That nah, it'd be 55. Oh, that's no way to Max. Because Max ain't that big. Max says but he's always like, I mean, like about one from Dustin. There's no way. He'd be like Patty. He'd be like Patty getting fat. Bro, how tall is Max? Five 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 Bro, he's so little though. He has like, 69 inch reach though. It's crazy. But Connor's going to be fine in Floyd nice. apparently. What is oh, boxing! Yeah, I heard about that. You yeah, about that? like half a billion fight. or something. Connor, like that. Uh, apparently, Floyd reached out to Connor and they want to fight. Like, I would love to watch. Floyd that broke video. again. Yeah. <laughs> sure. He needs that Connor payday. Hey, I'd lo- I'd watch it. Oh, I mean, people it's buy the paper. Right? They would. It is so crazy what Connor's been able to do with his name in those few years. That built him up so much that like even losing now, he can lose a hundred fights in a row. And they're still gonna book him for payday fights. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. his name. Pretty much can almost any fight he wants. Yeah. I want to, I want to see Conor versus. Bro, they talked about him in title contention. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you 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 he said, "I want to watch Conor versus Ngannou." <laughs> Heavyweight. I mean, bro. hey, I'd watch it. Anyways, I'd watch, bro. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't buy that? <laughs> I'd mean, buy the heart. I mean, I'm telling you right now, that I, is hey, not going far. If you buy it, I you go on a list because that's like <laughs> watching <laughs> murder. Yeah. Because, because that's what Francis and Ngannou do. Now hold up. No, if you're saying I had like faster. the click remote where I can I don't hit care how much faster. Hold up. <laughs> if I had the click remote where I can rewind time, like, yeah, I will watch like <laughs> that like brutalization. Like I watch and God who literally punch a man's torso and he off just of flies his across the whole fucking. Game. He hits him in the chest and rips both his like it knocks both his arms off. Like, he just fucking separates him. The, the what a on, giant man. He the punches gorilla, through the gorilla on Connor's chest becomes like just runs away. No, from no. His body. <laughs> how would it really go? How would it really go? Is he'd be like, boom, and just. <laughs> just like go with the punch and just be dead. It's just yeah, imagine that press conference. Uh, I'm gonna yeah, say yeah. that damn thing. Connor's on the same. Who's you all pound for pound number one fighter right now? Right now, right now. Volk. Okay, Volk. I think it's either uh, three Usman. people. Usman. I know his. Yeah. Is he? It's kind of like, okay. Yeah, I think all uh, three of those are valid. Yeah, I think that's. Yeah, I, think those, I will say right now, three. just it's based off, just on. based yeah. off of the the weight division and this and how stacked it is, I'm gonna say Usman is. Just for the simple fact of 170 pounds is probably the most stacked division in the okay. UFC right now. Yeah. Yeah. So like, it's just the what's the criteria for pound for pound? You know what I mean? Because like, Volk's been more active. 
Yeah, but, but Usman has more title defenses. But if you uh, if you want to say who is the person that could just like at their weight class could fight anybody anytime anywhere and win, I think it's Izzy. That's my opinion. Mm-hmm. But I think like I think Volk can too. I, yeah, and then I think Volk can too. So it's like I think it just comes down to who you like more. Yeah, but I think Engano would smash both those ones. Yeah, but I think there's people that would smash and gone it. Featherweights, brother. <laughs> like, what is this? Heavyweights and featherweights. No, this is this comes to one. This comes to a guy. These guys don't to worry about weight. At the end of the day, day, we know Bryce Mitchell's coming for everybody's next. Yeah. So, so what are you talking about? DC? Hey, so uh, who would you give? All right, at 45. Who would you give a, uh, a title shot to? Josh Emmett. Josh Emmett. Josh Emmett. I love Josh Emmett. That dude. Hundred percent. He's been on a run, right? Josh Emmett. I would give it to him. And that is Bryce Mitchell. What? Fourteen and up. I think yeah. Bryce needs one big one. My, I think the uh, loser. Ten. I think the loser of Yair and Ortega is gonna fight Mitchell. I think that's how. It's, I think it has that's how you should look at it. Ooh, that's gonna be awesome. Mm-hmm. What about? I mean, think about I'm Ortega. Bro, I think, Ortega. I think, I think Yair is gonna get him. Bro, bro, bro if Yair fights Bryce, I think Bryce mauls him worse than he did Barboza because Yair is just a flashier version of Barboza. And then if he gets Ortega, Ortega, Ortega. Ortega. That, Ortega, dude. Yeah, that's Ortega. gonna be, what, dude. I don't know, bro. Bryce, mm-hmm. dude, Bryce trains with Roley and those guys, and like Roley, Roley's fucking dirty. Ortega's a, like, I don't know who I would take on that one. Okay, like, I'd watch it either way. I'm, 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 I don't know. Would you watch? I'm you hoping watch I'm hoping Bryce wins. <laughs> you didn't watch the last card. Yeah, you know, last was the most, most stacked of the year. Yeah, yeah that was like the of. biggest card of the entire year. Now we gotta watch. Now watch. we gotta watch Patty versus you know freaking Patty the Fatty. A bomb again. Talking about stairs. I'm a short I don't do that. I like looking at myself. I can tell. I try not to look at you. Batman. Yeah, switch to Batman because he knows who Superman is. Inside joke. Yeah. Hey, Mike, stop chasing that cat. Well, I guess. <laughs> All right, well, next time we'll have some sort of food challenge or something. Uh, waiting on some crates to come in since that guy stole ours because Henry left them out. Uh, we'll keep you all updated. Henry, you mess up one more time. I think he's going to. No, other button, Henry. Henry, 